Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, my name is Inga and this channel is all about healthy lifestyle, food and commitment. If you have watched my videos before, lately I have been talking about how I have been struggling with my dieting and with my weight loss journey as such. So I have decided to take matters into my own hands and do some different dieting. It is going to be drastic, it is going to be very tough, I assume, but you never know unless you try. But what is this type and sort of dieting? This diet that I'm talking about is OMAD. O-M-A-D. So lately, I have been hearing a lot about this OMAD, about the intermittent fasting and all that stuff. What exactly it is, I don't know. But why don't we find out together? I'm pretty sure that not all of you are aware of it as well. Um, why don't we have a look at it together? Again, I want to just put it out there that I am not a doctor, I am not a dietitian, I am not any sort of physician, etc, etc, etc. I am someone who is trying to make my own life healthier and have some sort of control with doing things that are good and beneficial for myself. Is this the thing? Is this going to be the thing for you too? I don't know. If, I, if you want to know what I'm about to tell you about this diet or lifestyle or whatever you call it, stay tuned. So OMAD you say, right? <laughs> OMAD actually stands for abbreviation O for one, M for male, a for A, D for day. <laughs> but basically, it's one meal a day. Lately, it has become very popular way of eating and people are using it to improve their health and their metabolism. But is it actually healthy? Is it actually a sustainable way how to lose weight? And is it healthy in a long term? Basically, that's what it is. OMAD means eating one meal a day. It doesn't really specify what you have to eat, it simply directs you to eat once. OMAD is the longest of the time-restrictive eating ways and it is equivalent to 23-1. Basically, you fast for 23 hours and you eat for one hour. And it, in its purest sense, OMAD doesn't direct you how many calories do you need to use or any specific macronutrient composition. But that said, it's encouraged to eat healthy and well-balanced diet. And for the best results, it is suggested to have it as a low-carb meal. What are the benefits of OMAD? Let's talk about the clinical experience. Clinicians experienced in prescribing low-carb diet and intermittent fasting use OMAD as a tool to help with weight loss stalls. That means that weight is not going down as expected even though you are actually following proper diet and being healthy and being active etc if the weight loss stays still for a while then this is the diet that has been suggested when people eating low carb isn't losing weight as expected can use OMAD for a kickstart of their weight loss to be honest, many people who are using OMAD are actually using it because it's very, very simple. So you basically eat one meal a day and you do not have to think about restricting yourself to anything else or what you can eat, what you can't eat. You just have one meal a day and that's all it is. So in a way, it is beneficial to people with limited time because you don't need to do a lot of shopping. You don't need to think about what you're going to cook, etc. You just have your one meal and all done. As a form of time-restrictive eating and intermittent fasting, OMAD might actually help to reduce hyperinsulinemia. It can help to control diabetes and improve metabolic syndrome. Consistent clinical experience shows that widening the fasting window can help improve metabolic conditions. So when used appropriately, OMAD actually has proven to give much better results than shorter fasts. Some people see OMAD as an easy way to reduce calorie intake when you only allow yourself 30 to 60 minutes 
window of eating, it is physically difficult to exceed the amount of calories that you should be taking during the day. What are the concerns about almond? So basically, creating an environment where you naturally reduce the intake of your calories is one of the clinical benefits of almond. But meanwhile, the other side of the coin is that it can be difficult to obtain an adequate calorie intake if eating OMAD long term on daily basis. And then OMAD can actually start to look like chronic calorie restriction, which obviously is never good for you. Although chronic caloric restriction helps with the initial weight loss, it poses long term concerns because it tends to lower metabolic rate, which makes weight loss very difficult to maintain. Another thing why OMAD might not be really good for you is inadequate protein intake. Just as OMAD promotes the calorie restriction, it can also lead to lower protein intake. So you really need to pay attention to what exactly you are eating when you are on OMAD because you need to still take, receive all the nutrients that are necessary for your existence. There could be some unpleasant side effects. For example, diarrhea. If you go to this diet suddenly, while you are on the cycle of fasting for so many hours and then suddenly in this one hour you have to consume all those calories and all the nutrients, it can cause abdominal discomfort and diarrhea. There isn't an evidence of how many exactly people are suffering from it if they do move to OMAD, but the fact is that it happens. If you have to take medication with the food, then probably this diet might not be right for you. So be careful and whatever you do, make sure you do consult your doctor or dietitian or physician. Talking about exercise while on OMAD, some people find it really difficult because obviously you are kind of tired when you're on this diet because you do not get all the um, benefits from food, you do not get glucose as as you would normally get, so your body adapts to burning fat for energy. However, do try to at least go for a walk and move your body that way, because that will help you with the weight loss. There are some warning signs that I want to talk about. Many people do very well and actually are thriving while following OMAD pattern. Others can be more suspected of having side effects. Feeling a little bit hungry and a little bit low in energy is of course expected, but feeling unwell, fe feeling nauseated, feeling extremely fatigued or having severe side effects are abnormal on OMAD, therefore you should not be doing it. If you do experience some of these symptoms, it's best if you do not follow this eating pattern. OMAD actually appears to be a very powerful tool in weight loss and metabolic health. That said, you need to be cautious using OMAD on a daily basis for all the reasons I previously mentioned. Instead, for some, it might be useful to, you to follow OMAD only, for example, three times a week. But remember, OMAD does not give you the green light to eat everything that you want. What you eat for your one meal, it still really matters. It is recommended to stick to low carb on both, on the days when you do follow OMAD and on days when you do not follow OMAD. In fact, it is suggested that low carb intake actually helps with OMAD and intermittent fasting because you do not have as many cravings as you would have if you would consume carbs on a regular basis. And to conclude, is OMAD healthy and is it helpful tool for weight loss and metabolic improvements? Yes, it really can be. But if you do use it, use it mindfully, wisely, and pay attention to what exactly you're consuming. Your calorie intake, your macronutrient intake, and it must satisfy all your nutritional needs. As I said before, at the beginning and in the middle of this video, if you are planning to follow OMAD, consult your doctor just to be safe and sure that this is the right thing for you. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. If you haven't done it already, press the subscribe and don't forget to press the little notification button, the little bell that will notify you about any of my upcoming videos. If you have found this video useful, maybe you can give me a comment down below in the comment section and tell me about your experience with almond if you have done it or if you're planning to do it and i will be making um kind of not really a video series but i will be documenting this whole week where i'm applying almond in my lifestyle at the end probably next wednesday i will have a video up about how my week has gone how much have i lost if i have lost fingers crossed and yes, I will see you on my next video. Bye.